Hello there, uh, Dan, W4PTS here. I'm just going to give you a quick tour around the uh, new satellite uh, ham shack here. Uh, we're out in the garage here, so pardon the mess, but um, this is the best place to show this to you at this present time. First of all, uh, we've got the uh, Aero uh, dual band uh, Yagi antenna for uh, 2 meters and 70 centimeters. Um, and we've got that mounted on a tripod as per a design that I first saw from uh, uh, K7AGE on YouTube. And also uh, got this uh, mounting bracket that uh, he also helped inspire and via two uh, radio setup uh, inspired by uh, um, KG6WHO uh, uh, who also uses two uh, transceivers. Uh, one for the uh, downlink and one for the uplink. Okay, let me show you a couple of tricks about uh, tracking these birds. Uh, first of all is a good tracking program such as this. This is called Orbitron and uh, it's free to download and it pretty much gives you everything that you need to operate the satellites with a simple setup uh, such as what I have here. Uh, it gives you the, uh, it'll predict the passes for you for any particular uh, satellite. Uh, it will show you the radio frequencies and what modes you need to operate and it will also uh, tell you um, about Doppler shifting. Uh, it will show you uh, the frequency uh, that uh, will vary uh, based on the position of the satellite. Uh, now what happens if you don't understand what Doppler shifting is, it's very simple. If you're standing beside a train track and a train is coming towards you, uh, its whistle will be at a specific uh, pitch and then it goes past you, the pitch will drop. Uh, such as this. We all know that sound. Okay, we've heard it a million times. It's exactly the same thing in radio. As the bird is approaching, uh, the, the received frequency will be a little bit higher and after the bird passes, um, the frequency will drop a little bit. And this program will show you uh, approximately what frequency you need to be looking for. Uh, and so that's kind of a neat thing to know. Now the other thing is uh, this program will show you basically uh, the arc of the bird. Uh, and it'll give you uh, three different sets of numbers. And let me show you. This is kind of a little chart that I made. And just for the sake of argument, we've got north, 0 degrees. And over here we've got south, 180 degrees. And let's just say that the program has told me that I'm going to acquire the satellite at 30 degrees. And I'm going to lose the satellite at 140 degrees. And halfway in between that, uh, the satellite will be at its peak, which uh, let's just say will be 30 degrees uh, up in the sky. 90 degrees being, of course, straight up. And so you have this long arc, and you know that within a uh, oh, 8 to 10 or you know, 8 to 15 minute period, the satellite is going to travel from here to here. And somewhere in there you're going to have a peak. That's going to be your best chance of acquiring signals from the satellite. But anywhere in here you might just be able to catch a signal. And uh, with a setup like what I have, you'll be moving the antenna around a lot but this will at least give you an approximation of uh, what to do and uh, uh, it will really help you out a lot and uh, hopefully this is a simple way to show you what to look for when you're trying to operate these birds it's a lot of fun and now just for fun I'm going to show you uh, what a typical at least for me a satellite transmission is hang on Victor Echo 3 Oscar, Oscar Sierra, uh, Whiskey 4 Papa Tango Sierra, Echo Lima 87.
Okay, 73, got you that time, uh, Victor Echo 3, Oscar Sierra Charlie, and uh, we're in uh, Echo Lima 87, 73. Okay, 73. 